Hey there, everybody. Matt Carter here from CarterMatt.com. And Jessica Carter, also from CarterMatt.com. And what we're going to do here, and Coco Chanel's kind of with us. We'll see how long that lasts. But uh, we're going <laughs> to talk about NCIS Season 16 and 17, double dose of season speculation in this video. And we're raising a very simple question. Could Code de Pablo return as Diva? And we're going to do this in a fun way because we got not just one, not just two, not just three. How many theories we got? We got four. We got four <laughs> theories as to how this could happen. We're going to talk about all of these. We'll share our preferences, whether or not we see them working. But before we go any further down this rabbit hole, if you're enjoying this video, what should you do? Just give us a like and subscribe. Buttons down below. To the channel. There we to go. To the channel. We've got a lot of cool stuff coming up, and we're going to be talking a lot of NCIS the rest of this season. There's only three episodes left, so... You want to stick around to check out everything else we got to say. Okay, so there are no spoilers here, so you don't have to worry about any of that. Yeah, this is just all our theories. All our theories, all some speculation, and we're going to go through these kind of in some sort of order that I think you'll catch on to as we go along, but let's just talk about theory or possibility number one, which is that, and this is, this is the community darkest timeline <laughs> possibility, which is... Cody de Pablo does not return at all, and we don't actually see Ziva on screen. So, what do you think this would look like? I mean, I've said this before. If you follow me on Twitter at DangerGirl101, I have said this before, and I'll say it again, that I'm... I will be okay if I don't see her. Will I like it? No. But if I don't ever see her... The thing that I needed more than anything was just for the show to admit that she's alive and they've given it to me. I needed it. I needed it in my head to know that she's out there somewhere, probably with Tony, hopefully with Tony. I like to think in my box that that's where they are. They're together with their daughter and they're somewhere in the world. So if I don't ever see her, I can move forward with, with that in mind. Will I like it? No. I think I am more of an agent of darkness at the moment, hence I'm wearing black, it makes sense. I don't <laughs> I don't think things are very are great right now for Ziva. I just feel like why isn't she over with Tony? Why is she in America? What's going on here? I, I feel like I may need to be sedated if she doesn't show back up on the show. I will not be happy, I'm not sure. I don't know if I can handle it. I think I will be okay, I guess. I, I guess. would be okay because, like I said, my main thing is I wanted to know that she was alive. I thought, oh, we've never believed that she was dead. Yeah. We don't like it. Um, we're not having it. And now that's not a thing. So that's good. And that's a good first step. You know, if she doesn't show up, I can live with it. But I'm not going to be that happy. So. Okay, here, here I think is my fully formed idea on this is that if... Cody's just not interested in coming back. I will be okay with that. It is her decision. Yep. I cannot drag her onto being on NCIS. I would not want to. If she no. doesn't want to come back to the show, that's fine. I will yeah. deal with that. If she wants to come back to the show and then they don't have her back, I will not be okay. <laughs> I, I, I don't feel like that's where they're going. I've said this before as well. I just feel like, and I could be wrong. So, you know, if the showrunners out there happen to be listening to this, you can correct me. But my feeling is that they might have had a conversation with her before opening this story I hope up. So. I hope that they did. I feel like they would probably kind of just test the waters. Hey, would you maybe be interested if we came up with this awesome idea? Because this story has been phenomenal. I have loved what they've been doing with it. Really enjoy yeah. it. Hopefully, Kode likes it too, and they're all talking about it, and we can start to kind of move into the better theories where maybe she's coming back. Where maybe she's coming back if she wants to come back and it doesn't happen. If she wants to come back. I might pass out live on video, and the video will include her calling 911 in order to try to figure out how to resuscitate me. Yes. Uh, okay, let's talk about theory number two, and this is the idea of... Cody does come back, maybe does a short little arc, maybe it's set up at the end of season 16, she comes back, 
and then she plays a role at the first couple of episodes. Then she says goodbye. She goes off to be with Tony. Everything is happy. I, I mean, I feel like this is the most convenient option, at least for me, because I, I feel like, would I love to see her more than this? Sure. But do I think that this probably makes the most sense all around? Probably. She's not a series regular. You know, it probably cost a good bit of money to bring her in on a number of different occasions as a recurring guest star when she was a series regular before. I think you can tie together her story, kind of get whatever closure you need on why ever she's hiding out. Because she's obviously hiding out for a reason, right? So you could offer that closure, then have her go back, and, you know, maybe she could show up once or twice down the road, but it would help to kind of alleviate any problems of, you know, how she going back and forth between wherever she is here and Tony and all of that sort of stuff. I, I, I like this idea. What do you think about it? I like this idea, and I think it's probably the most likely of all the scenarios. Do I think that she's probably going to come back for a guest arc? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. You know, I I just I feel like this is where we are probably, hopefully, going. It'll be a couple episodes. Uh, we'll get to know where she is, what she's doing. Yeah. Hopefully get her out of hiding. It's something that I don't feel that great about. I don't want to think about the idea that Ziva's going to be hiding for the rest of her life. That sucks, you know? So it would be great to see her, see her for a short arc, clear it all up, make it so that she's <laughs> safe, and then she can go off into the sunset. Is that my favorite idea out of the four? <laughs> no, but it's it's a good one. Okay, well, let's then, with that in mind, let's move into number three. Yeah, why don't you explain number which three? Which is my favorite theory. Okay. Which is, you know, we lost Reeves, who's one of my favorites. I really, really liked him, and so that really sucked. Yeah. Uh, but since we can't have him back, I like the idea of Ziva coming in as a specialized agent. She has these this very specialized skill set that nobody else has, and I would really like to see her, you know, she could come in almost like for now, maybe a little bit more, because I think he maybe comes in two or three times a year. I'd like to see her maybe four or five times a year coming in for specialized cases where they need her special kind of skill set. Mm -hmm to fix a situation. That's what I would like to see. I think this could work. I, I, I think like I, I, I understand why it's your favorite theory because this is basically is. like the uh, you know, send in the cavalry option when yes. things get really bad. Yes. You know, Ziva comes like bursting through the door. Yeah. It's like, don't worry guys, I got this. But uh it's an entertaining idea. Like I think the pros of it... I'm going to die on this hill. Oh, you are going to die on this hill. I am go I'm, I'm going to die on this hill. I am going to be devil's advocate on this hill. Like, my pros for it are obvious that we want to see more of Code on NCIS. We want to see the Ziva story continue. My cons for it are mostly just... I don't know how often they would be able to get her back, but then also just that. I think you would have to have really, really good stories every time to bring her in because if she has Absolutely. a happy ending and she's off with Tony somewhere, you got to like you got to make it good enough that she's going to want to leave that situation and come back. And I don't know if they're going to come up with reasons every single time for that, but if they, if they can do this, if they can make this dream a reality and you don't have to die on this hill, because I would prefer that you do not die, I would be, I would be more than okay if they do that. I just feel that she does not need to be with Tony every second of the day. If the two of them are together yeah. and they are happy together and they are family together, she can travel a couple times a year yeah. to come to NCIS and do a couple cases without him, him doing, you know, taking care of their daughter, yeah. working on something else, uh, doing his own thing, you know, couples that are together don't have to be together every second of the day. Everyone's not like us. I was about to be like, what? <laughs> Where we are together almost every single second of the day, but most couples are not like that. They have their separate jobs and do their separate things. And, you know, I feel like there doesn't, it's not that much of a stretch for her to come back. Money-wise, it's probably pretty easy. I feel like after all this traveling she's done, Ziva's frequent flyer miles have got to be, like, insane. Like, think of all the rewards that she has. Yeah, she's she, maybe she needs some money. Yeah, there we go. All right, so 
Let's talk, I guess, about theory number four. This is the total pipe dream probably never gonna happen theory, which is why, you know, it'd be so easy for us to come on here and be like, this is our favorite because, like, the idealist in our brains is like, yes, do it. It's like that gif of Jack Nicholson just, like, saying yes up and down in that really, like, sinister way. But the problem with this theory is that it's probably not gonna happen. It's the idea of... Ziva being full-fledged series regular, like she was for many years, around all the time. It's like, I don't know how they would randomly get together the money for another full-time series regular. And, you know, the ratings, at least the live ratings, are, you know, going kind of down. They've been pretty steady this year, but they're not what they were when Ziva was on the show. And then they also, like, how do you keep justify keeping her away from Tony <laughs> and their kid for that long every single year? Absolutely. I don't think they can bring her back full time without bringing Tony back. And yeah. even when you just think about the NCIS set where you've got the four desks and you've got mm -hmm. Gibbs and, and McGee and Torres and Bishop and where does Ziva then go? Yeah. Are you going to put her on the other side of the cubicle? Like, no. So, you know, just logistically even thinking about that, it doesn't make sense for her to be back full time. And you can't really have her. I mean, you can have her back. She is her own woman. She can be back without Tony yeah. full time. But it would be, it would bring up a lot of questions. Yeah, it would bring up a lot. I'm very impressed, by the way, that you're keeping track of the NCIS seating arrangement. This is like oh, yeah. that's something I'm not even paying attention you got, to. You got the Torres and the McGee, <laughs> and then you got... You probably doesn't can't see. And then Gibbs over here and Bishop's over here. There you go. <laughs> NCIS seating arrangement, everybody. I'm not very good at keeping track of any of that stuff. But, uh, yeah, I... I don't think it would happen. We, we like to at least be relatively realistic here with our aspirations for what could happen. I mean, I think it's pretty clear. If you're still watching this video, you probably want Cody to Pablo to come back to NCIS in some shape or form. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and we're, I don't, and we're not trying to build up any false hope here because it feels like the story is moving in a direction where there's got to be something coming with this, whether it is the end of this season start of season 17. Maybe we'll talk about this a little bit more when we get closer to the finale actually airing and we kind of yeah, see... Yeah, we still have a couple more yeah. episodes left. We're still in the middle of this arc that's going on right now where last episode we didn't hear about Ziva. Yeah. I kind of feel like the next episode we're not really going to hear about her either yeah. and that's okay. It's doesn't have to be every single episode. I'm here for the slow burn. I do not mind <laughs> yeah. the slow ride to Ziva Town. We can keep on going as long as it doesn't end yeah, at the end of this season. I would really like to see it go on till next season. Yeah, and I, and I feel like at this point, given the number of episodes we have left and what we know the final episodes to be at the moment, I don't think there's really, frankly, time for there to be resolution to it this season. Like, if there is, that revolu that resolution would take, like, five minutes, and then that would just be really, really terrible, so... I'd be really salty. Please yeah. don't do that. No. So, um, we will link below our preview for the finale, because yeah. it is a lot more about Gibbs and Fresnel and a bunch of other cool stuff that you can check out below, but, uh, yeah, right. those, those are our theories... Tell us what you guys think. Do you want to see her back full time? Do you want to see her back a little bit? Do you not care about this? <laughs> and if that's the case, then I'm really impressed that you made it to the end of this video. <laughs> I applaud you, actually. I salute you for being so devoted to the Carter Matt YouTube channel. And if you are that devoted, you've probably subscribed already. But if you haven't, be sure to subscribe. Give us a like. And uh, if you want below. to support us further... The link to the Carter Matt store is in the description. We have shirts kind of like the one that I'm wearing. A lot of other cool stuff there. Thank you guys for watching and having fun with us on this Saturday afternoon, at least West Coast time. And we'll see you here next time.